basically a two-wheel drive go-kart, wedge shape with a three mech and a giant 6,000 RPM 12 kilo cutting disc, twice a series semi-finalist, wild thing, we may love you. From Harbour, Trouble and Strife. I like the CO2 powered flipper combined with a 20 kilo 1000 RPM disc and the four modified starter motors powering a solid machine. I don't like the sluggish turning circle. Roboteers, stand by. Wild Thing and the Adams family, Nick, Dad, Isabel 14 and Jake who's 12 and Trouble and Strife, Peter Forsey, Jake his son and Mike Stokes. In the arena for the house robots, Matilda with a flywheel and the tusks. And if that's not gruesome enough, we have Shunt in there as well with the diamond edged axe and the scoop. Three, two, one, activate. Wild thing, heavier, faster, more experienced. You can see its red cutting disc, and if you look carefully, the green spinning disc of trouble and strike set lower on the machine. And if you look carefully as well, you can see some damage, I think, already caused to the armor of trouble and strike. Just a few scratches and dents. Wild Thing doing all the aggressive work. There's the front flipper of Trouble and Strife, powered by the two kilo CO2 cylinder. There are the controls of Wild Thing, Nick Adams. Loves his radio, model car racing, and he loves his Wild Thing machine. Oh! For a minute there, I thought it was going to topple over. Has its own stream would have been all right, Wild Thing, but this is a, a struggle here. For the experienced Wild Thing machine, look at this. Went on the attack, was flipped. The spike actually balanced the machine and down they came. But a little bit of problem there for the wheel hub. Just bent and buckled. And should this go to the judges, that will count against Wild Thing. They've got a problem there. They're not running freely. And that wheel looks badly buckled. Wild Thing is in a real survival battle here now. Semi-finalists in the third series of Robot Wars and the fourth. But here against newcomers, Trouble and Strife, in real trouble themselves. Doing the pressing, doing the aggressive work. But they need now a KO, I think. Otherwise, Trouble and Strife could yet put the Adams family out. Almost edging to the CPZ there. Matilda, of course, awaits with the heavy flywheel. We've seen it cause so much damage in past robot wars, certainly trouble and strife around the rear is damaged and they were pushed in there to the CPZ and taking pressure and punishment from Shunt. That's a good drive by Wild Thing. I think trouble and strife will just survive and go to a referee's decision. It's going to be very, very close and they've taken severe damage later on. Well, well, well. That is definitely one for the judges. Wild Thing seeded nine. Could there be a turn up for the books here? The judges will be looking at style, control, damage, and aggression. Stay tuned for more Metal Mayhem on Robot Wars. Those ravenous robots are back on Tech TV. One on three wise heads tot up the points. Let's have a look at the highlights. Wild Thing on the attack early on. Then suffered damage to the wheel in this attack, which nearly saw them toppled. And there you can see the wheel hub nearly ripped off was wobbly from then on in Wild Thing. Came back into it doing a lot of pushing and damage was caused to Trouble and Strife very late on by Shunt in that CPZ. The judges have made their decision. It's really tense here, isn't it? <laughs> you can cut the tension with a knife. Do you think you got it? Do you think, Jake, do you think you got it now? No. Not sure? The judges have made a decision. The ninth seeds have scraped through. Wild thing of the winners. Oh. 